Two at six, bringing music and movies alive in Oklahoma. Once called the oil capital of the world, some think Tulsa could one day be known as the Hollywood capital of the plains. City officials have started a new film and music advisory board. Two News reporter Brenna Richard is live downtown to explain. Well, Karen, the board's goal is very simple. Find ways to turn Tulsa into a film and movie maker's paradise. When most people think of Tulsa, they probably don't think of this. Man, action. Welcome to the set of The Lamp, a 2011 film shot in T-Town. Tracy Trofs directed the movie. When I'm talking with people who are in L.A. and other areas of the world, they're like, you're shooting a movie in Tulsa, Oklahoma? You know, and they even throw a little accent in there. Trost is now a member of the mayor's new film and music advisory board. Its first meeting was today. I just see so much opportunity that we have here in Tulsa, and all of you have that capability to give us some leadership, some advice. Their goal is to promote Tulsa, make it a more attractive place to film movies and record music. We do have a history. Um, we do have a foundation for a creative community here in Tulsa. Additionally, we have uh, the advantage of, of, of our cost of living. But turning Tulsa into a film or music maker's paradise won't be easy. And it'll be more challenging if state lawmakers do away with a tax credit entertainment companies use to help cut production costs. A lot of filmmakers are being drawn to these places where they can get, you know, cash incentives. Uh, it's hard to compete with that when there's not a cash incentive, uh, you know, involved. But the advisory board is determined not to let anything get in its way. In the future, we look at film and music in Tulsa not as this little struggling industry, uh, but as an identifying industry with our city, something that... People around the country look at Tulsa and say, yeah, that's a great place to make movies. It's a great place to make music. Now, the Oklahoma Music and Film Office believes those tax credits will be spared by the legislature. However, they say it'll be a few weeks before they know for sure. Live in downtown, Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you. Brandon, thanks.